In this video, we're going to install Visual Studio 2022 along with the SQL Server data tools. So the first thing is we need to go get Visual Studio. So we will do a quick search. And Visual Studio 2022. We can get it here and just install it directly from the Microsoft Store. You can also download it from uh, the Microsoft website. We'll get it right here. You do need admin to your machine. And so this is going to get the Visual Studio installer and then ultimately Visual Studio Community. Okay, so we have the installer here and we just want to scroll down until we get to the data storage and processing we'll check mark that and we want to get the sql server data tools make sure that's checked on if it's not already checked um, we'll leave everything else the way it is and then we'll go ahead and hit the install Okay, so it's done installing now. Um, it recommends rebooting. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um, and so we now have the Visual Studio Community 2022 edition installed with SQL Server data tools. I wanna take a quick look over here. If I search for that installer again, I wanna show you that uh, I can also come over here to the Visual Studio Microsoft.com website, and we have the community edition right here. So you could also download it. If you can't get the, you can see it went ahead and download it. If you can't get it from the, uh, the Microsoft store here, you can also just download it. Let's go ahead and launch it up now. I'm going to skip the sign in for now. I'll just take the dark theme, start Visual Studio. Okay, so we have started this thing up. We can continue without code, or we can go ahead and open or create a new project. Since we installed SQL Server Data Tools, we're going to install a new project, and then I'm going to search for Data Tools. And it, what we're going to look for is a SQL Server Database project and so that right there let's make sure we can do and we'll call this um, SQL Server Data Tools Project 1 for now we'll hit create What we want to notice is we have the SQL Server data tools over here. This is where you would store all your scripts for SQL Server. Um, I do have a SQL Server installed. We'll go through a quick schema compare. This is really what I use it for. You can compare your source, which has nothing in it yet, and we can compare it with, um, I'll go ahead and select a local connection here. We will go with local host. That's my local SQL server. If you look at the prior installation video, you'll see um, where I installed that. And encrypt trust certificate. We're going to have to say yes on that. And then you can see we have, I think I just created one table in the test, but we'll go ahead and bring that in, do a quick compare. And I can do a more in-depth video on how to use this tool, but for now we're just doing an install. We're making sure that it's working the way we want it to. And it did a little compare, and we have the, the one table that's in that database right now. Okay. 